Apologize for the uh, bumps this morning. Uh, evidently, Florida doesn't like us Georgians. Maybe it has something to do with the feeding the bulldogs put on the gators last fall. <laughs> gonna ask you just to stretch out and relax. Uh, air might get a little cranky, so we're gonna ask that you remain in your seats with your seat belt securely fastened around you. We won't have beverage service today, but the flight attendants will be going through the cabin with water and with snacks. Have you on the ground in Atlanta? 40 minutes. Thank you. How can anybody sleep like that? <laughs> I don't know. And how long has Sleeping Beauty been out? Um, 26 minutes. We're gonna start descending any second now. Well, it looks like you'll need to wake him up. Southjet 227, Atlanta Center. Descend and maintain flight level 300. Descend and maintain flight level 300, Southjet 227. The elevator feels really stiff, sir. All right, don't force. All right, come on, we'll get everybody strapped back. in. Get everybody strapped in tight. Ladies and gentlemen, pull left hard, hard, sir. Uh, gears down. I don't think hydraulics is the problem, sir. We need to dump the fuel. Do it. This is Southjet 227. We're in an uncontrolled dive descending out of 21,000 feet. We're declaring an emergency. We've dumped our fuel. We got a jam stabilizer or something. We need a block of altitude to work the problem and are heading to the nearest airport. Let's see you going below 10,000. How are you doing? Uh, not good, not good. Oh, no. Margaret, there's a red lever right there next to my seat. It says manual control. You see it? Uh, yeah. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to pull it up, turn it clockwise, push it back down. Ready? One. Two, three. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, come on. Okay, okay. okay. That's up. Oh, Lord, we're coming out of 7,000. I see nothing but houses. Evan, listen to me. When I say I want you to retract the flaps, retract the gear, trim us nose down, okay? But everything's going to be opposite, so make sure you trim us nose down. Hey, trim down? What are you going to do? Mark, yeah. when I tell you I want you to push these forward, full power, full throttle, can you do that? Yeah. Okay, okay when I tell you... Wait, wait, sir, what are we doing? Why would I trim down? We're going to roll it, okay? What, what do you mean, roll it? got to do something to stop this die. Mark, what's your son's name? Trevor. Say I love you, Trevor. What? The black box, say I love you, Trevor. I love you, Trevor. You be a good boy. Mommy loves okay, you. Okay, here we go. I've got control. Set it down there. Roger, 227. Oh no, fire in the right now! Evan, we're coming back around. Margaret, I want you to hit full power, full throttle. You understand? Here we go. Evans, speed brakes. Speed brakes! Flaps full. Flaps full! We're losing the left engine. Now, Jet 227, I see you descending through 1,000 if you can. Margaret, full power.
Brace. Ten. Minimum. Brace for impact. Minimum. Thanks Thanks for coming. Glad you got my message. Yeah. How's your act? Good. 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 Is Hugh Lang? He's an attorney from Chicago. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. My pleasure. Sit down. You want a coffee? Uh, yes, I do. Could we have a, some fresh coffee? We were just talking about uh, your co-pilot's wife. I told the newspaper that God landed that plane. Yeah? Oh, God landed that plane. <laughs> well, I do believe God landed the plane. Same way I believe God should hit the buffet that turkey sausage is excellent. <laughs> So Len Caldwell really wanted to get here this morning. Len's the president of the pilot's union. He wanted to be here to meet with us and you. But they needed him at the crash site. And as you know, when a plane goes down, the NTSB sends a go team right. to the crash site immediately. They find the flight data report? They did. It's perfectly intact. Oh, great, 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 great. Then that solves everything. So why do we uh, need a lawyer from Chicago? Well, Hugh specializes in criminal negligence. Criminal negligence? Death demands responsibility. Six dead on that plane. Someone has to pay. Yeah, but that was a plane that fell apart at, uh, I think he fell apart at 30,000 feet. On the airline, we'll try to prove equipment failure, which is going to make the manufacturer responsible. The manufacturer, in turn, is going to try and prove poor maintenance of the equipment by the airline. Or pilot error. <clears throat> I flew the plane inverted. That means upside down. You, you get the picture? 100 people upside down, 500 feet off the ground. You, you, know, you have any idea what that's like? I do. I uh, heard the black box recordings last night. Oh, you heard? So, saw you a pilot? No, no. Then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, do you? Hugh's on our team. Well, is he? Yeah, he is. He's it's the, like he's on our well, team. Well, he is. It's the, like but fucking pilot. Listen, what it's the NTSB's ballgame. They run the investigation, and they will ultimately rule on the cause, and that's why we need well, him. Well, they uh, interview the entire flight crew. They uh, interview the passengers. They hold public hearings. All right, let's cut to the chair. What, 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 just tell me what it is I need to know, Charlie. The NTSB GO team also collects blood, uh, hair, and skin samples from the entire flight crew uh, for the purposes of a toxicology report. Okay. When they want to do that? Well, they've already done that in the hospital. It's the first thing they do. You don't remember having your blood drawn the night of the crash? No. They get the results of this, this test? Yeah, they do. Anything else for you gentlemen? Yeah, uh, uh, um, you had warm cinnamon buns over there, right? Could yes, you give sir. me one of those, please? Sure. Oh, in fact, give me two of them. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, an initial report shows that you had alcohol in your system uh, at a level of 0.24. Now, in the good old US of A, one of the most lenient drunk driving countries in the world, you go to jail for driving with anything above 0.08. And by driving, I mean a car. Mm. Thank you. Uh, so that doesn't mean anything. A couple of beers the night before the flight, but that made the tail of the plane explode. A couple of beers? Yeah, a couple of beers. You know, I need a lawyer, Charlie. You is your lawyer. I need a bigger lawyer. I need a lawyer that understands that someone put me in a broken plane. Without me up there, there would have been 102 funerals, not six. We're not talking about funerals right now, well, Captain. Then what are we talking about? We're talking about? about prison time. What? Lawsuits. Somebody has to pay. What, write a check? It's not going to be me, I promise you that. As long as they're writing checks, tell them to write one for me, too. Because someone put me in a broken plane. I'd love a check, Charlie. Well, this, this toxicology report states that you were drunk and high on cocaine 